Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about BMC, Team Machine SLR4 for the 2022 season. As you probably know, BMC is a very famous bike brand from Switzerland. They have a huge heritage in making road bikes and also mountain bikes. And you probably remember them from 2011 Tour de France, where they won Tour de France uh, together with Cadell Evans. So definitely BMC, when it comes to, you know, carbon fiber uh, frames and forks and road bikes, definitely knows what they are doing. So this uh, BMC Team Machine SLR level of the road bike. Let's first answer the question, who is this bike for? So you see the BMC Team Machine level of the bikes, uh, Team Machine SLR, it's all about climbing bikes, so climbing lightweight, stiff machines. So if you are in the market for this type of the bike, then definitely you should check the BMC Team Machine SLR range. SLR range is not, you know, top of the line creme de la creme that BMC can do. They have their SLR01 range, but these bikes are really expensive, so that's why I'm focusing here on the Team Machine SLR range, and specifically SLR4 model. The retail price of this bike is 5,000 US dollars, or if you are in the Europe, it's gonna be 4,800 euros. So definitely, you know, not a cheap bike, but we will see when we dive into the specifications of this bike, what do you really get? And also at the end, I will give you my recommendation. Should you just go ahead and buy this bike or should you just consider it? When you look at the paint scheme of this bike, there's only one paint scheme on offer. It is a beautiful metallic blue with a hint of silver. Looks absolutely stunning. I have no problem with that. But then again, I would expect the BMC to offer at least another paint scheme because the retail price of this bike is 5,000 US dollars. Now, let's dive into the specifications of this bike and let's really see what do you get for your hard-earned money. As always, we can kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So this is a carbon fiber frame, uh, Team Machine SLR carbon fiber frame. Uh, it has a PF86 uh, press fit bottom bracket. It has, you know, internal cable routing and also flat mount disc brakes with 12 millimeter through axles front and the back. Of course, the frame and the fork are both a little bit aerodynamically optimized. But as I said, the point of this bike is to be lightweight and stiff climbing machine. Fork on this bike, you will get a carbon fiber SLR, carbon fiber fork from BMC. Again, 12 millimeter true axle at the front and flat mount disc brakes. I have absolutely no complaints about this carbon fiber frame and the fork. BMC has a, you know, a good reputation in making really quality carbon fiber frames and the forks. And also keep in mind that you are getting a five years warranty on their carbon fiber frames and forks. Again, I wish that BMC in the future increases this warranty to at least, I would say, you know, 10 years or even a lifetime because there are many other bike brands which can do it. But as it is now, as I say, frame and the fork, perfectly fine. There's no complaints from me here. Now let's talk about the crankset and the cassette on this bike. So you are getting a SRAM Rival crankset. This is a 4835 crankset and it is paired with the cassette, which is again a SRAM Rival XG1250 cassette. And this cassette is 1036. So it's a beautiful range, huge range here. So 1036 cassette, you definitely won't have any problems in attacking sp uh, any, any steep mountains. And also the chain is the SRAM Rival 12 speed chain. So they definitely didn't cut any corners on the cassette or the chain. When we talk about the group set on this bike, so what are you getting? You are getting again a superb uh, SRAM Rival ETAP uh, wireless group set. So shifters, front mech and the rear mech, everything is a SRAM Rival uh, wireless group set. Excellent group set, absolutely no complaints here, it's gonna, it's gonna work perfectly fine. And for this, you know, 5,000 US dollars retail price, you would definitely expect, you know, a wireless group set from SRAM or Shimano. So this is, as I say, a 12 speed wireless group set. Everything communicates wirelessly and there's a battery inside the frame. 
Now let's talk about the braking system on this bike. So you are getting a SRAM rival hydraulic disc brakes with the SRAM's centerline X rotors. These are 160 mm braking rotors front and back. Excellent, good heat dissipation and stopping power. And generally speaking, hydraulic disc brakes from SRAM should work perfectly fine. Again, no complaints here from me, but I'm so glad that both braking rotors are 160 mm front and back. And also, once when you destroy these braking rotors, I would definitely suggest you to keep uh, SRAM braking rotors. I forgot to mention when we were speaking about the cassette on this bike. So this is a SRAM rival, as I said, XG1250 cassette. Just keep in mind that once when you have to replace this cassette, it's a pretty pricey item, so it's gonna set you back approximately, you know, 132 euros or, you know, 130 US dollars. So it's a very pricey item from SRAM, uh, this uh, SRAM rival XG1250 cassette. And the problem is that once when you destroy this cassette and the chain, I would still recommend you to, you know, go with the uh, SRAM rival cassette and the SRAM rival 12 speed chain just because of the compatibility issues that you might have if you use some other, you know, cassette or chain combination. But keep that in mind, it's a bit of a pricey item, this cassette. Let's talk about some of the smaller pieces on the bike, like the handlebar stem and the seat post. So handlebar and the stem are separate pieces here. There's no proprietary piece, which is absolutely excellent. These are BMC handlebars and the stem. Aluminium pieces, I have no problems with that, but the highlight is that since these are separate pieces, it's very easy to replace in the future, very easy to upgrade, super easy to set up your position on the bike. This is absolutely, you know, thumbs up from me. Uh, when it comes to handlebar and the stem. As a, and uh, as I said, aluminium pieces, but definitely perfectly fine, no problems here. Seat post, you are getting a superb uh, BMC SLR carbon seat post, so this is a D-shaped seat post, so keep that in mind. Carbon fiber seat post is gonna soak up a good amount of road bumps, but again, in the future, if you wanna, for example, replace this seat post, you'll definitely have to stick with some kind of D-shaped seat post. Saddle on the bike, you will get a Physique Antares R7, perfectly fine uh, saddle, but again, if you don't prefer this Physique Antares saddle, maybe you have your own saddle that you really like, perfectly fine, just keep on, you know, riding that saddle and mount it on this bike. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike, because I think this is the weak point of this bike. So you see the, the rims and the hubs are basically aluminum rims, uh, 25 millimeters height, XRD 522 rims, XRD 522 hubs. I have no clue what these hubs are. I'm guessing some kind of sealed bearings uh, hubs, but very, very weak uh, wheel set. Uh, BMC here could have used something from DT Swiss, for example. I don't know why they've used this XRD wheel set and hubs. So just keep in mind that uh, once when you destroy this wheel set, I would strongly recommend you to save some money and buy yourself a proper wheel set. You know, there's so many good wheel sets on the market. You can always start by looking at DT Swiss, by looking at Zip wheel set. So a lot, a lot of options out there. Tires on the bike, Vittoria Rubino, perfectly fine tire, 25 millimeters tire. Okay, I kind of understand that BMC went with the thinking of, of well, this is a climbing bike, let's fit a narrow tire. Although they are saying that um, you can fit all the way up to 30 millimeters tire. So what I would do here is when you destroy these 25 millimeter tires, buy yourself a 28 millimeter tire. It's just gonna be much better when it comes to air volume and the smooth ride. Any tire will be fine, specifically, you know, if you use something from, again, Vittoria, Continental, uh, Pirelli, Goodyear, so many good tires out there. Now let's talk about the total weight of this bike. So it's 8.5 kilograms, but BMC isn't saying in which size. I'm guessing this would be some kind of 54 size. So probably majority of the sales are gonna go, you know, 56 size, 58 size. So you can easily add another probably 200 grams on top of that for the total bike weight. So let's call it, you know, 8.5 to 8.7 kilograms in some, you know, regular sizes. So I think it's a pretty decent bike weight, you know, nothing spectacular. Uh, always keep in mind that this SRAM wireless group set is a pretty heavy group set and also these wheels are pretty heavy wheels. They are probably easily, you know, two kilograms, 2000 grams. So if you are really obsessed with the bike weight, it's very easy to shed some weight by replacing few of the components. So in a summary, what would be my advice to you if you are in the market for this bike? Should you just go ahead and buy it or should you consider it? Well, I believe you should consider this bike because the retail price of 5,000 US dollars is pretty high. 
and the thing that bothers me with this bike is the wheel set it's a very weak wheel set and I think the, uh, I think BMC should have offered a much better wheel set for example some kind of basic aluminium wheel set from DT Swiss except from that everything as, uh, as it is is pretty good and again it's a bit pricey for what it is with 5000 US dollars so I think this is gonna be it for today if you like what I'm doing please do watching please keep on watching uh, give us a like and as always I will see you soon in the next episode cheers